Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on Cape Open Flow Sheet Environment. Today we will study or learn how to simulate ethanol water distillation. This is Professor Arvind Prasad. As most of you must be aware that the ethanol water system is a highly non-ideal system and it forms an azeotrope. The data for the ethanol water vapor liquid equilibrium at one atmosphere has been taken from Cornell, LW, Montona, Noyce and Waffle and you can see that the data is on the right hand side. In the data it is very clear that the azeotrope is formed at 78.1 degrees Celsius and 90 percent. In the figure given here too we can clearly see that an azeotrope is formed and the vapor liquid equilibrium or the vapor concentration and the liquid concentration they really come very close somewhere at around 80 percent alcohol and more. We will be using the Wilson's model for non-ideality. Now the link for what is the Wilson's equation for non-ideal liquid mixture is given below. I have made a video on that. If you want to study more about it, you can watch the video. So let's get to the simulation. I have already configured the simulator for the Wilson's model. How to configure the simulator as I have indicated earlier in this video, the link is given below and you can see how to configure this simulator thermodynamics for the Wilson's model. Now let us add a stream here. This is the feed stream. So let us name it as feed. Now we take a mixture. Of ethanol water. It is 20 percent ethanol. And 80 percent water and the feed rate is 100 kilo mole an hour. Now for your reference. This is the paper from which the example has been taken. It is pressure swing distillation of azeotropic mixture by Iqbal and Ahmad. The first distillation column has a feed of 100 kilo mole an hour at 20 percent ethanol and the feed temperature is 90 degrees Celsius and the column operates at one atmosphere. The number of stages in the first column is 30 and the feed stage is the 23rd stage. So let us go ahead and simulate this example. So the feed is at 90 degrees Celsius, we enter that. Now we add the distillation column. So we run the distillation first to check whether our feed is properly configured or not. Now we add the distillation column. So we go to separators. Pick chem set and place the icon. Now double click on the icon, click edit. So we enter 30 trays. The pressure is 101.325 Newton per meter square and the thermo is from the Cape Open. Click OK. Now the ChemSep interface opens. We just have a check on everything is OK. Yes, everything has been ticked. Now we go to the column specs. In the column specs, we put the reflux ratio as 3.5. Seven one one, as given in this paper. 
3.711 press enter and the bottoms has a water concentration of 0 0.995 that is 99.5 percent of the bottoms is water now we close the chemsep unit and connect the streams oh so we have to configure the heat tray i did not do that so let's go to operations and enter 23 now in the chemsep unit it should be noted that if you put 30 stages the top most condenser and the bottom reflux is also taken as a stage so therefore we will have to increase the number of trays to 32 to keep the number of trays as 30 and the feed is in the 23rd tray so here it is going to be the 25th tray Now we connect the feed stream to the distillation column and we connect the distillate and the bottom streams. And run the simulation. The simulation is complete. So let us have a look at the concentrations. So go to flow sheet, click on insert, go to insert, click on stream report, and click select all the streams. And we have it. Now, as you can see here, the top concentration is 0.84. That is it has 84 percent ethanol on the top and at the bottom you have the water mole fraction is 0 0.995 that is 99.5 percent of the bottoms is water now if we go back to a presentation and have a look we do find here that the data says that the Azotrope is formed at 90%. But here we get on the top the concentration as 84.8 or 85%. Now, why this difference? One needs to understand here that as we reach towards the azeotrope concentration, the separation per tray reduces. That is number one. And therefore, you get 84% on the top. And secondly, we should also have a look at that when we have simulated this, what is the azeotropic concentration that the simulator predicts for the system? So for this, we can go to plot. We can go to the TX plot and click OK. Now we find here that the azeotropic concentration predicted by the similar simulator is 6, 7, 8. It is roughly close to 0.84 as we can see here. So therefore, the top concentration does not go beyond 84 to 85% because we can see here that the bubble point temperature line and the dew point temperature line, both of them merge between 0.85 and 0.84 and 0.87 roughly. So let's read it here. Yeah, this is 0.833 and this is 0.875. So what we can find here that the lines have almost merged here and the distillation in this part is going to be very difficult and the concentration is most likely to not increase beyond this point. And this is what the simulator 2 predicts.
that is 0 0.8448488 is the concentration at the top. So that was the end of my lecture. So today I have demonstrated to you how can we use the simulator to simulate a distillation column for non-ideal systems. Hope you have understood the concept. Do like and subscribe my channel. And if you haven't understood anything, write in the comment box and I shall take every effort to explain you back. Fine guys, that's all for now. Have a great day. Bye.